Well, good morning, everyone. It is Saturday, November 2nd. I'm on my way to public. So I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to be going. I still want to hunt that little woods with all the buck sign. That's where Andrew was hunting yesterday. Uh, when I talked to him last night, he said he planned on hunting the same tree again. So I'm not, not exactly sure how I want to play this just yet. But So anyway, just looking at my apps, Onyx and Hunt Stand, and trying to figure out what the best approach on this should be. Had a little bit of rain this morning on the way in, so I set up the umbrella. It's just about 10 minutes after 8. That's only my second time sitting in this little woods, so I'm really not sure what the deer movement's going to be. To my left is a standing cornfield. Straight in front of me, they've already picked the corn. To my right is private about 150, 200 yards. Straight behind me is that field that Andrew was sitting on yesterday. So I headed a little deeper into the woods to give him some room. Hopefully we'll get some eyes on that buck today. There's a lot of buck rubs and buck scrapes in here. Well, it's 9.42. I just had those two does come through. They were about 50 yards. Alright, well, it's 11.11. I saw that last year at 10.30. I think what I'm going to do is pack up and get down and do some still hunting. It's about 37 to 39 degrees. Somebody made a little feeder. I'm sitting here eating lunch and it started to sleep. So we'll see what happens. The, uh, the forecast is not calling for rain or sleet or anything. It was just supposed to be overcast today. All right, well, I decided to just park by the boat launch and hunt right here inside the park close to the lake kind of the whole idea behind saddle hunting is um, you're mobile. Just find a spot that looks good, set up, and hunt it. So that's what I'm doing. I just walked down this trail and I found a scrape. Right here's his licking branch. So I'm just going to real quick find a place in here and get up in the saddle just be a fun night we'll just see what happens all right well i'm still looking for a spot to sit and the wind is just howling off the lake right here and blowing my scent right into the uh the thicket that i want to look at so i'm getting kind of frustrated all right well i was just crossing a little creek down here and it was deep, and I didn't know it was deep. Let's just say I kind of fell. 
I'm wet all the way up to my knees. My boots are full of water. My gloves are all wet. All right, well, I'm right here by the parking area. I went all the way back to the woods and didn't really see any deer sign that I liked. I'm not real impressed with it. I think what I'm gonna do is, it's 4.30 now, I'm just gonna call it a night. I got a lot of editing to do. I'm gonna go home, try to dry out my boots and get prepared for tomorrow morning. All right, we'll see ya. It's November 3rd. Uh, just about six o'clock in the morning. Kind of forgot about the time change last night, so I'm not really sure if I'm running behind or if I'm on time. Okay, just a quick correction. It's five o'clock right now, not six o'clock. I'm on time. <laughs> I looked at the truck clock here and I didn't look at the actual clock on my cell phone until just after doing that morning interview, so. All right, guys, I'm all set up. It's 6.30. I decided to sit in this old lock-on stand. I ran into Ryan and his buddy this morning as I was walking in. They were just pulling up. I got to be honest with you, it was super nice to throw my climbing sticks up and just jump into a stand that was already in here.
Now that's what I call some buck poop. Look at the size of that. The parking lot is just on the other side of those trees 100 yards. I've jumped deer in this little woods right here several times coming and going. One of these days I'm going to hunt that little strip of woods. Look at the size of that tree. That's a big tree. We're only 200, maybe 300 yards from the parking area. Okay, well it's 450. I'm only hunting about, I don't know, close to 200 yards from the parking area. I'm hunting this spot for two reasons. One, out of frustration. And two, I found some really good deer sign and I've jumped several deer on my way to go way back to where I hunt. So on the way in, I found fresh deer tracks on top of boot tracks, like real fresh. And I found that massive uh, pile of buck poop and that scrape, or uh, excuse me, that rub. I got all the way back where I was gonna hunt and hung my first climbing stick and I checked the wind because it didn't feel right. And my wind was blowing exactly into the marshy uh, wooded area that I thought the deer would be coming from. And there was a heavy deer trail um, that was running through there to that wooded marshy area. It was so well used that it was literally mud and my wind was blowing right into it. So I got frustrated and decided to come up here and give this a try. Well, we got about 15 minutes of legal shooting. It's been pretty quiet, but this set was just a shot in the dark. I didn't have real high expectations here. It was worth a try. All right, well, that's gonna do it for me tonight. It's been a long four weeks since I shot my deer. I was really hoping I'd have another deer down before now, but I've had a lot of bad weather, bad winds, some misses. I can't do anything about the weather and the rain, but the misses are on me. Anyway, we'll keep plugging away. Appreciate you guys watching. I'm gonna get out of here. We'll see you.